and welcome to another installment of Star Citizen. Today, let's take a look at the Grey Cat, little golf cart. Let's drive this thing around. Fits into most ships anyway, so let's try to make a little money with it. Now, you get these box delivery missions from the gates of Lorville. It's not really that easy to get to these things. You've either got to land at Tisa Spaceport and then take a train to Metro Center, or then take a, another train out to the gate to deliver the box and then in reverse. And if you land outside, you got to land outside of the no-fly zone. That's not that easy either. It's a long run inside. And you run. And even though Lorville at night and the lights look great, it's a long run. It takes several minutes. So I was thinking this, okay? What if, instead of running with the box, I could use the gray cat? Now the first question here is, can we even get the box inside the gray cat? There really isn't even a dedicated place that I can see here It'll put the box, but it does have a passenger seat. So we're gonna have a box passenger. That's how we're gonna do it. All right, so it looks like the box is gonna stay in here. It's gonna vibrate around a little bit, but hey, that's all right. As long as it hangs in here, we'll see if it stays or in travel. First time driving the gray cat, you know, uh, I kind of like it. I can't really see the box is blocking my right side vision here a little bit, but that's all right. Let's go. All right, so the gray cat can take a few bumps. That's all right. And I'm thinking, let me just skirt the perimeter here. We'll just go over to the next landing pad, uh, the outside landing gate, because that's where I got to take the box. You know, it's fairly fun and it does take some bumps here, but it's clearly gotten a little bit of damage as I'm going along. You know, I, this is a damage state, this like light that's on here, I'm pretty sure. It's not on fire yet or anything. Oh, great. So we'll keep going. I think it'll hold together, but still it's a uh, pretty fun to drive and it does off-road a little bit. Yep, there we go. Okay, uh, you know, I could have kept going around until we just went around the perimeter to drop this off, but I'm gonna try to get this thing inside the Cutlass. You know, it fits inside the Cutlass pretty well and I'm actually going to probably also test to see how much cargo space I've got left over with the gray cat inside. Right now I've got this box in here it's looking pretty good and you know flying around the very edge of the no-fly zone is pretty risky. I know if you almost just touch that no-fly zone you're going to explode your ship so I probably should have just driven the gray cat all the way around. That would have been the best thing. But having driven it around, we just back this thing out with the box, and boom, here we go, we're off. Hit the accelerator. Nice level ground. I'm liking this. This is cool. We get up here. Now, the one thing I really didn't like is that I heard uh, the landing guy said that I was not in a landing space. And after checking my Moby glass, it didn't really give me one of those options, you know, like normally to land your ship. I couldn't really see a, a way to be able to say, okay, permission to park or anything. That might be something they just still need to do here. Initiating but uh, that's okay. Procedure. Just park the gray cat out here. Take my box inside. Drop off my box. And bam. Paid. Money in the bank. So the next thing to do is to see how it fits into the cutlass. And it does fit into the cutlass really nicely. It fits in this little back area here, and it only takes up six of the 46 SCU that the cutlass can carry. I like the cutlass layout because the center of the ship is the big wide area that carries the majority of the cargo, and this little skinny area in the back is where the gray cat can go. So I can continue to just keep the gray cat back here and do the delivery missions that go to the Lorville gates and back and not you lose my cargo space. I can still move around the majority of my cargo. It'll also fit in the Reliant Core. If you move it all the way to one side, you can just skinny past it to get into the cockpit. It'll fit into the Avenger. The Avenger's a little bit narrower in the cargo area, so you have to use the 
a little special ladder entrance for the pilot up front, uh, but I still think you might be able to fit a cargo unit or two in front of the gray cat if it's parked in there. It'll of course go into any of the freelancers and any of the big boys. So that's the gray cat. You know, this thing can be a lot of fun. This is a nice way to break up your gameplay, do something a little bit different, get in a little buggy, drive it around, and actually make some money with this thing. It's pretty cool. I like the gray cat. The gray cat's on my list of keepers. I hope you enjoyed that, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Landing complete. Have a pleasant day.